Hey guys, OFD checking in here today, and today I'm really excited to bring you another diving watch. You guys know how I feel about diving watches. I just kind of absolutely love them. Um, so I've been gone on vacation for a couple weeks. That's why there was a bit of a lapse in my videos. And when I came home, I had a number of watches uh, here in my mail that I was able to grab onto. I'm trying to put all the reviews together right now. Um, I'm Today, I am wearing actually the 42 millimeter Cahill from Spinnaker on its factory uh, orange NATO strap. Absolutely loving this watch. Um, blows my mind every time I go into the dark because the C3 loom on the dial and the bezel is just spectacular. So anyways, enough about that. Getting back to the watch today that we're going to look at. This is a fairly new offering from Deep Blue Watches. Um, now, Deep Blue Watches, if you guys are not aware, they've been around since I think about 2007. What I would call um, kind of a boutique watch brand. I know back then, it, the, I don't know if he still owns it, but back then the company was started by a gentleman by the name of Stan Besh who really wanted to bring tough uh, tool style divers, um, make them available to pretty much everyone out there at reasonable prices and using good movements. Now, generally, he, you know, these companies are using, um, you know, manufactured cases uh, put together by other case manufacturers all over the world, dropping in different movements that they find at good prices and stuff like that. Um, you know, I just recently sold a um, one of my deep blue watches, and I've always been impressed with the quality. They always kind of hit it out of the park. So let's just get into this watch real quick here. As you guys can see, deep blue, this is the box this one comes in, Precision Diver. Now it's a nice, sturdy feeling box. I will tell you, this isn't like a... Uh, this isn't like a Pelican case or anything like that. It's really nice plastic, but it's not super, super strong, super tough, um, but definitely great for a watch case. So this is the way the watch comes, and I just want to show you guys from Deep Blue. You will actually receive the um, instruction manual and the limited warranty information here in this manual. And like a lot of watches, it's kind of a, uh, a manual that describes depending on what kind of movement you actually have in the watch there. Okay, you also get this uh, really cool um, keychain from Deep Blue, which has their, their logo on it, Deep Blue uh, Divers, uh, Precision Diver and stuff like that, removed before diving. Kind of a cool little addition. Now I have taken the hang tag off the watch, which is nothing, you know, not a big deal. But here we go, here's the watch, okay? Guys, today we're taking a look at what they're calling, this is the Deep Blue Military Diver 300 Swiss Automatic. Now they're calling it Swiss Automatic because this watch is running a, uh, a Swiss Automatic movement and that is the SW200 from Salida. Now if you guys are familiar with Salida movements, they kind of got big recently with the big hubbub in the last number of years over ETA supposedly limiting the number of movements going out to watch manufacturers uh, outside of their small group. That of course has since changed, but in that time, uh, Salida uh, gathered some ground. They really got their name out there. They got to be well known. They've uh, improved the movements they're making and stuff like that. So I wanted to give this one a try. So the SW200 is basically an ETA 2824 clone. Um, and you know, it is a Swiss made movement. So that's why it says Swiss automatic there. Now this is not a Swiss made watch, obviously, if they're using cases manufactured, uh, most likely in Asia or anything like that. That's not going to happen, but they are dropping in this Swiss Salida movement here. So pretty neat watch. Obviously, you guys can see that there is some very similar looks, um, if not glaring similar looks, to the Seiko uh, SRP777 series or the 7 series as far as the turtles go. Some striking differences right off the bat. You can tell this watch does have a 3 o'clock crown, whereas the Seikos have the 4 o'clock crown down here at the 20 minute mark. A little bit of difference there. Um, this is quite a bit bigger watch. I can tell you guys right off. Um, just heft size, just the feel of this watch altogether feels bigger. But I'm not going to talk about the Turtle. I will eventually, probably within the next few weeks, do a comparison review of this next to my SRP775 Turtle. But this is a really great watch. These watches come, this is a 22 millimeter lug opening, and these do come with um, Deep Blue's Hydro 55 series uh, rubber bracelets, which I can tell you guys, spectacular. This is a natural rubber, super soft, super flexible. I love the big holes here, especially like where I am now, we're getting 100 and plus degree weather. So this venting here just really makes it nice to wear. Okay, very nice. 
Now, I'm gonna get into the dimensions really quick here on this watch, and I'm actually gonna measure them. Now, from the Deep Blue website, I looked at it, and um, they rate, they tell me this watch is a 44 millimeter uh, side to side minus the crown, 51 millimeters lug tip to lug tip, and 14 millimeters thick. But I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the caliper here so we can get a look at that, just to see how close we are on that. Okay, so without including the lug, I'm actually getting close to a 46 millimeter guys on this case. And that to me is what it feels like. Okay, 45.7 there. So they advertise 44, I think it's bigger than that. Feels bigger than that. Um, lug tip to lug tip, we're looking at 50.3. So they're actually a little short on that one. And then Thickness is 14.7, 14, almost 15 millimeters thick, so 14 and a half. So pretty close on the measurements they give at the website, but I do think they're a little bit off there. So a, a definite improvement, I think, well, it depends really on who you ask, um, is that this is a high rate or a high beat movement compared to the Seiko movement. This Salita SW200 runs at 28,800 vibrations per hour. So you get that really, really smooth sweep of the second hand you guys can see there if I can hold it still enough for you. But the dial on this watch, amazing beautiful sunburst blue that they've done on this watch that is just kind of takes your breath away i mean it's absolutely beautiful outdoors now i'm not doing the outside video guys because it is just so darn hot where i'm here it's already 100 degrees outside so i didn't want to do that but go ahead and get a look at the case back here has a great deep blue logo there on the back with the deeply engraved in the diver this is the military diver there as you guys can see under deep blue and then below the diver there, you guys can see a 157 of 1000. I don't find anywhere on their website that these are all these are limited edition at all. I think that is a model or a reference number possibly. Not quite sure, guys. 300 meters or 1000 feet waterproof, which is an improvement of 100 meters over the Seiko. Uh, Salita SW200 automatic. This does have sapphire crystal and all stainless steel construction. So sapphire crystal, as it says, and this is AR coated to keep the glare down on this watch, but you know, really well done. Obviously a screw down crown on this watch with really nice knurling on it, works really well. Now this is my first Salita movement, so the winding of this is so much different than I'm used to with say like a Seiko or anything like that, but definitely does the trip. Obviously it is hacking and hand windable. As you guys can see there, the second hand is stopped, so you can get it set perfectly. We do have a date window here at three o'clock on this also, which is very nicely done. Go ahead and get that crown screwed down. I will tell you that this crown is larger than the crown on the Seiko and much easier to get a hold of. So get a picture of the side of this here. As you guys can see, the deep blue logo there on the side. And with this shot, you guys can see the really nice case polishing they've done here on the sides of the case. And then it just goes right up into this brushed top surface here. Also polished on the inside of the lugs there, as you guys can see, and it's done very nicely. So overall, I'm really impressed with this watch, guys. It does have a 120 click unidirectional bezel. And you know, this is something you can't say about all Seikos, but everything on this watch uh, lines up perfect. And you know, I can even say on my SRP 775, that's not necessarily the case that everything lines up just perfect. Um, and on this one, it does. So I will go ahead and put a loom shot here at the end, as I usually do, guys. Um, now, I will tell you the loom uh, right off the bat. Not super, super bright, but this is a, uh, a Swiss Lumen, Super Luminova. So instead of being really bright just off the bat, this watch just has a really, really steady glow all night long. You can always read this watch through 12 hours of darkness, to be honest with you. I had no problem. I wore it to bed the other night, and uh, it really works great for that. But... Yeah, guys, they have a number of flavors or colors, as you would like to say in this. They have a sunburst orange. I think they've got, I think they've got a gray dial version of this, a black dial version. They've got Coke bezel. They've got Pepsi bezel, but um, very, very cool watch. Now, this watch does retail for quite a bit more than the SRP series from Seiko. This watch, when I just looked on the website about five minutes ago, was retailing for $499.00. Now, the price has gone up because when I ordered it just a couple of weeks ago, they were retailing at $419, so I think I got a special sale price 
Um, I think they had them on sale before Father's Day, and, and that's when I ordered this and got it picked up. But definitely a great, great watch. Uh, running the Swiss movement, um, you know, I think you definitely get an advantage over the NH35 or basically the 4R30, excuse me, the 4R36 that the, uh, the Seiko is running there. Um, just with the beat rate and stuff like that, it's a really, really nice movement. Um, you know, now down the road, people may argue that as, well, as far as serviceability serviceability, excuse me, and robustness. Um, you know, when you get a higher uh, beat rate on a watch, you also don't have um, a watch that generally lasts as long between services. You know, I mean, that's just what I found. They're not quite as tough as the lower uh, beat rate watches. Another thing I forgot to show you guys here, I don't know if it's super important, but there is a automatic helium release valve on this watch. Uh, they're on the side at nine o'clock, which is something they've been doing on all of their um, you know, Pro Diver or Pro Series that are similar to the Seiko's. They are making a very similar watch, the Seiko SKX, it's like this. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit burlier. Does have 300 meters water resistance and also has that helium release valve. So, pretty cool offerings from Deep Blue. Uh, it's a company that I like. I like what they do out there. So, if you guys are interested in this, I will put a link to the Deep Blue website down below and you can go check out all the different uh, styles of this military diver that they're making right now so all right guys thanks for tuning into the ofd channel if you like this video give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom and if you've not subscribed to my channel please do please do thanks get a little bit of sun on this bad boy get it in here there you go Super Luminova, so it's blue. It's almost blue compared to like the bright green from Seiko. But very good, works all night. All right guys, thanks.